Hello everyone, welcome to Explore More & Learn. I hope you all are taking very good care of yourself. So today's video can be very important for many people as it is based on a very common confusion in English. So what's that? I'll tell you. So today's topic is whose versus whose. So these are the two words which sound in the same way. So they are pronounced in the same way but their meanings and uses are completely different. So if you are one of them who gets confused using these two words, then this video is definitely for you. So do not skip it and watch it till the end. Okay, so I'll explain them one by one. So first of all, you should know what is the meaning of this whose. What's that? So you can see here after who there is an apostrophe s. Okay, so this is pronounced as whose. All right. But it is a contraction form for who is or who has. Contraction form means like you have contracted who is or who has. Then what do you do when you contract this who is? You use apostrophe s. So I is contracted. In the same way here, when we contract this who has, then we remove h a and we use apostrophe s. So it can be used either for who is or who has. You got it? So this is a contraction form for who is and who has. This is hidden there. For example, who's there in the classroom? But you will pronounce in this way, who's there in the classroom? So it is quite obvious that we are having is here, which is contracted. Okay, so who is there? Because you can't say who has there, right? So this is a contraction form for who is. Who is there in the classroom? Let's take another example. Who's come first? So here it's quite obvious that this is a contracted form for who has. So who has come first? But you'll pronounce it who's come first? Who's there in the classroom? Now whose. So it is also pronounced in the same way. But you see here there is no apostrophe s. So but after who is e is there so whose is a possessive form which shows possession which shows that someone has something or someone owns something okay something belongs to someone that is called possession so possessive form so you might have uh, read about these possessive forms so this is possessive form for who like you might have read that the possessive form for he is his, she is her. In the same way, possessive form of who is whose. It shows possession, it shows that something belongs to someone. Okay, so you own something. So this is shown by whose. Now you see we use whose to ask questions or to introduce relative clauses. So either you can ask questions by using whose or you can introduce relative clauses by using whose. Now I'll tell you very important points about whose. So there are three points and you just remember them. Number one, it is a relative pronoun. Number two, it shows possession. Okay. So possession means like something is owned by someone. So someone owns something something belongs to someone so it shows possession and it is followed by a noun it possesses remember now i'll explain these three points one by one with examples so it is a relative pronoun for example he is my friend whose mother is a teacher so here whose is used as a relative pronoun so as i told you that it introduces relative clauses. So here you can see two clauses are there. He is my friend. Mother is a teacher. And they are joined by this relative pronoun whose. Okay. So it is used as a relative pronoun. Number two. It shows possession. As I told you that possession means someone owns something or something belongs to someone. So for example whose purse is left there. So here you can see that whose is used as a possession for this noun purse. Whose purse is left there. Now it is followed by a noun it 
possesses. Just remember that we use the noun just after whose to which it possesses. Okay? You might have seen that we use helping verb after the wh words like what is your name but here the case is different here we use the noun just after whose when we ask a question just after whose we use the noun which it possesses we don't use helping verb here for example whose purse is left there okay so here we are using the noun which for which this whose is used okay whose purse then we use here helping verb so whose purse is left there okay another example whose bag is this now you see so whose is followed by the noun it possesses so it possesses bag so whose bag is this another example whose book is kept on the table again we are using the noun which this word whose possesses just after the word so whose book is kept on the table so just remember whose is a contraction form for who is or who has and whose is a possessive form for who and other three important points which i have already told you okay so i hope you have understood the difference between whose and whose so just subscribe this channel if you are new to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notification for the next video and if you have liked this video then don't forget to like and share this video with your family and friends thank you for watching very soon i'll upload another video till then take care bye bye